Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. What you're looking at here is a picture of a 1970 Chevy C60 grain truck that sold on a farm auction last Saturday, May 5th, 2012 in North Central Kansas for $9,500. Uh, now this particular truck had a 16 foot steel bed, rollover tarp, 366 V8 engine, 4x2 speed, good rubber, and had 44,000 miles on it. Now anytime I write or blog about these, uh, these older grain trucks in real good condition and what they sell for, uh, a lot of chatter, a lot of interest out there. Folks just seem to be a little surprised how high they can go. Um, so let's hop in our website here quick, machinerypeat.com. And what I've got punched up here is a, is a list of all the Chevy C60s that I've seen in the last 16 years sold at auction. You can see we've got 677 of them here. And here's the one last Saturday, May 5th, 2012, North Central Kansas, 1970 model, good condition for 9,500 bucks. Now to show you again what what they can do on the high side in really nice condition, here's a list of all the C60s I've seen over the last three and a half years, the nicer ones, and to show you what they can sell for. So if you just visually look through the list here on these sale prices, you're going to see them up over $8,000, $9,000, even up to last year, the highest one we saw right here, this 1975 C60 for $14,000 on a sale April 29th, 2011 in North Central Oklahoma, 53,733 miles. Um, so if we scan through the list here again, you can see a number of them over $10,000, even up to this one here, which is the highest C60 I've seen in the last 10 years at auction. So it was uh, December 5th, 2008, East Central Nebraska, 71 model, excellent condition for $17,750. So, uh, you know, pretty amazing how high they can go here. Now, the thing with these old uh, grain trucks, beyond just the prices and, uh, you know, their value to the farm, I think what I've been noticing more recently is is somewhat on these old grain trucks the emotional connection they have to people. So it's not just the, the older antique tractors that cut right through to our heart and our ties back to the farm through the generations. It can be these old grain trucks as well. In fact, last uh, summer I was contacted by uh, Nancy Reed, a retired school teacher in Seidel, Illinois, and with a very interesting situation. Now you see a picture here. This is Nancy uh, and she's She's with her 1965 Chevy 60 that uh, her dad, uh, Kenneth Hogan, bought brand new in 1965 from uh, Hooker and Sons dealership in Sidehill, Illinois. And Nancy grew up with this truck. Now Nancy contacted me last summer and she and her husband Kevin had just purchased four new MW uh, gravity wagons. and. Nancy knew it was probably time to sell this truck, but her emotional connection to it was very strong, and she reached out to me, not so much to find out what it was worth, but for help in finding a buyer who would love this truck and appreciate it. Now, uh, Nancy mentioned to me when she was a girl growing up in Seidel, uh, on the farm, she, she thought, well, if the John Deere tractor has a name, why doesn't every other piece of equipment on the farm have a name? So the first truck the family had was a 1947 uh, Chevy, dark green with a dome nose. And when uh, Nancy was a girl, she named that truck Jenny. Now when her dad, Kenneth, bought this truck in 1965, this uh, Chevy 60, uh, Nancy just naturally named this Jenny too. And this was the truck that Nancy learned how to drive. She told me that when she was... Uh, she learned how to drive this truck standing up, driving in from the field. And she said when she took her first truck driving test, the instructor, who she said looked like Mr. Whipple, was hanging on to the door for dear life. Uh, and Nancy did real fine on the test. And so they got done, and Mr. Whipple lookalike said, Well, you did fine, Nancy, but uh, boy, maybe you should tell your dad to check on the power steering. And of course Nancy said, Well, there is no power steering. She said Mr. Whipple almost fainted. So again, uh, you can understand Nancy's connection to Jenny 2 here. 
here's a couple other looks at this truck so again Nancy reached out uh, looking for the right buyer for this truck who would love it and appreciate it um, as she did for all these years and I caught up with Nancy last uh, last August at the Farm Progress show in Illinois and Nancy had just found that perfect buyer for her Jenny 2. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here and I'm at the 2011 Farm Progress show in Decatur, Illinois and I've caught up with a friend I made here this uh, this spring, Nancy Reed from Sidale, Illinois and Nancy uh, emailed me with an unusual uh, request. Now Nancy, let's pick up the story here. You had a 1965 Chevy 60 yep. that you grew up with basically. Yep. It's right. the only green truck my dad ever purchased new. Okay. And what's your dad's name? Kenneth Hogan. Kenneth Hogan. So you learned to drive this uh, Chevy 60 out in the field, standing up? Standing you up. I wasn't big enough to reach, so I had to okay. stand up and shift gears. And, and how old were you when you started driving? Ten. Ten years old. Okay. <laughs> and you and your husband, you've owned it right along then? Yes, we've had her her whole okay. life. And it became time to sell this truck. Yeah. And you were having, your emotional connection to it was pretty deep, I could tell. She's moving. So, what, sale price wasn't the first consideration for you. It was finding her home. A good she needed home. a good home. And this is a picture of Jenny yep. too, right? Okay, and that's your and that's your dad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this was Jenny too. The original Jenny was. Oh, uh, the original Jenny was a 1947 dome nose, dark green bed Chevy. Okay. We used to ramble around with the dog. And okay. Now, your dad said that was his favorite. Am I remembering this right? That's the first truck he got after the war. Okay. Okay. But he didn't get it new. And okay. then this was his. Oh, Jenny too was his favorite. She was truck. his favorite. Okay. So now we we told the story in a in a, in a machine repeat column about a Jenny too here. And I understand you recently sold it. Yes, you found I found a buyer. The, I found the perfect home for it just last week. I'm okay. pleased about that. And your buyer is is close to Sidell. Yep. Understand. He's about over by Savoy. Okay. And his brother and he have a detailing shop, so she's going to oh. get a facelift. Oh, Jenny. Yes. She's awesome. going to look good. She's going to look new. Awesome. And she's going to basically haul grain on a five-mile up and down path down their road, pretty much like she's done her whole life. So she'll be right at home. Well, that's fantastic. And you, you are very happy with the with the new situation with the Yes, with the buyer. very happy. Now, are you going to be visiting Jenny, too, or getting some pictures or updates? Or? He has, yes. When she gets her facelift, huh? he's going to share pictures of her with me so I can oh, see her okay. looking like she did when she was born. Wow, that's awesome. Now, and Nancy, you... History, if I'm remembering right, is kind of a, you're a teacher, is yes, that correct? Yes, I retired, retired from teaching teacher. last year, yes. And you, you got involved with some community projects, some history of uh, Sidell, Illinois? I did a history book in 84 called Lives and Times for the tiny communities of Hildreth, Archie, and Palermo. And little how, tiny now, places. what population are we talking about here, Nancy? In the 1880s, they were bigger than Hoopston, Illinois, but now they have about like five houses wow. is all okay. they have left. Yeah. And how did you go about researching the history of these communities. I wanted to get it done before a lot of the older people that had been there for generations all passed away. Okay. So four summers I spent interviewing people. Four summers? Yes, and they wow. were they were great. They were willing to give me their land abstracts to look oh, down through the history. Oh, they fun. just opened up and, and gave me pictures, everything they had to, so it wouldn't be lost. And that book you published in 1984. Was it you self-published back then? Yep. Wow, so you were ahead of the curve with that. You're progressive, Nancy. That's, That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> I'm out there. And, and, and hardworking and a good heart, I could tell. It was fun visiting with you and hearing the story about growing up with the, with your dad and the, and the Chevy trucks. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you for sharing the story. And I'm glad to hear Jenny, too, found a good home. Well, I'm nice. It's good to meet you live. Wow. Uh, fun to talk machinery. Now, will you send me a picture of Jenny too when she's oh, all detailed absolutely. out? Absolutely, yes. All right. I'll put it on my Facebook page too. Perfect. Well, Nancy, great to visit with you. Have a good time at the show here. Well, thanks so and, much for including me. And I'll find an auction down by Sidell soon and we'll, we'll visit. Oh, we will have a good time. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Okay.